Last time we spoke, I decided to challenge myself. Everything that Chris Harry are doing one day, I was going to do for 30 days. I have so many moments where I was going to quit. Yet, yeah, it's only just the beginning. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ed here, back at it with another video. In this video, this is going to be my one week progression on training like Chris Harry for 30 days. Before we begin, if you all please make sure you hit the subscribe button and post notification. Let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so the very first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I will head right over to the fridge and I have, or grab a bottle of water. Then, as soon as I get to consuming that bottle of water, then I will start doing my 100 push ups. One thing that Chris Harry does that sucks so bad for me is that he does not eat, he fasts all the way to 12 o'clock. The reason why that sucks for me is because I'm so used to wake up in the morning either eating a bagel, um, eating some type of eggs, or I eat something to where like, as soon as I wake up, I just feed my body. Um, and that sucks because around 10 a.m., I'm very, very, my stomach is growling, I'm hungry, but I can't. That's the reason why he drink water as soon as he wake up in the morning, just because I feel like, for me, I go through at least three bottles before 12 o'clock even hit, which is really good. It helps me feel full and it can help me prolong that time from when I wake up till 12 o'clock. It makes me feel full until so I don't have to eat anything so I can better strict myself into not eating anything until 12 o'clock. So around 12 o'clock is when I have my first meal. In that meal, what I am making sure that I have is I will, I will always have a protein, I'll always have a vegetable. And one thing that Chris Harry does, he carb cycles. He either eats a half portion of carbs for lunch or he eats no carbs or they eat a full portion of carbs. For example, what I eat, so normally what I, I mean, what I normally have, what I have been doing is I have been eating a salad. I've been getting some chicken, just some store bought chicken. And I'll also put like four to three boiled eggs on there. And then I'll eat that for lunch. And then for dinner, what I would do is I would either make a salmon. I will either get some parsley or a broccoli. Now for carbs, I'll have some brown rice or I'll have no rice at all. Literally, I would probably wouldn't eat anything else besides rice with that. Um, and also to drink with that, only thing I drink is water. I don't drink any juices. I mean, I probably have a protein shake here and there, but only thing I drink is water. No juices, no energy drinks. The only thing I throughout that time, I do be having some snacks. So like I either have like Greek yogurt throughout the day with like granola and blueberries. I may also just have some fruit, like some oranges, some apples, some grapes, or deviled eggs, eggs on a bagel, or I'll just drink a protein shake. So for my workouts, I do have Chris Harrier's Spinex app. Um, and from there, that's where I'm getting my workouts. And throughout there, I'm just picking my workouts to keep the same split. So like I'm doing chest and triceps, I'm doing back and buys, I may be doing shoulders long, abs, and I'm having, I have one on my sixth or seventh day, I am doing nothing but straight cardio because Chris Harrier does go on sprints and jogs with the weight vest on, which is, I don't have a weight vest. So all of his workouts are pretty much body weight workouts. A big difference that I feel from just doing my normal bicep curls, just any bodybuilding exercise that I use with dumbbells or barbell, um, one thing I do with his is pretty much is all my body weight. I don't use any dumbbells. I haven't used a dumbbell yet. Um, I haven't used a barbell yet. Only thing I've been using is a pull-up bar. And it's crazy because I feel sore, if not even more sore, doing his exercise than I would normally do in my typical bodybuilding exercise. For me, doing this workout for one week, his warm-up feels like my entire bodybuilding workout. I never really understood how hard it is to move my body weight until I actually went and did these exercises. I mean, I can do a good solid 15 pull-ups, but doing that throughout a workout, trying to do my max pull-ups throughout a workout, I mean, as the time go on, like it just gets really, really hard versus me just trying to do like a pull-down row. I can do that for five sets of like 20, you know? Just some small effects I am noticing from my body is that I am an awful lot more sore than I would normally from just doing my bodybuilding exercises. Typically my soreness from a bodybuilding exercise will last me for about at least solid three days, but day seventh and I'm still feeling a good bit of the soreness from my whole body from like upper body from that I did four or five. I have seen better definition throughout my body as I have been starting this process. Um, I have been seeing my biceps grow a little bit bigger. Also, I have seen my abs deform a little bit better. Um, I've also have shed a good bit of body fat percentage. One thing I've also have realized is that my energy levels has risen just for the simple fact that like I am eating just about two heavy meals throughout the day and picking up a bunch of tiny, healthy snacks versus when I used to eat three meals a day and it'll just be anything trying to stay within my macros. I feel like cleaning that up has allowed me to be more energetic, feeding my body the right fuel to be able to maintain and be happy and just go crazy. While eating, I am also eating a significant amount of protein, healthy, good protein like fish and grilled chicken. I've been eating that 
versus that has been playing a bigger role into why I haven't seen these gains and just seeing better, better side effects just from doing this. Next Thursday, I am gonna do more of a vlog for you guys so you, can, so you all can see step by step each day by day of what I am doing. This week, I just want you all to know exactly what I'm doing and break down what I am eating and just show you exactly what I'm doing. So we wanna get a little bit more into depth. Now, if you wanna stay tuned for that, please make sure you all hit that subscribe button, the post notification, and I'll see y'all on the next vlog. Peace. Morris. Morris. Morris.